everybody, it's John again, and today I am going to take a look at the NECA's Godzilla 2001 Atomic Blast figure. Here he is in his um, packaging. You can see he's got a lot of blue paint on him. It looks pretty cool right out the bat. His blast effect. And the back just kind of shows off Godzilla. And uh, this should be a quick open. Oh, they even got the little Toho photo down there. Um, I'm really excited for the Godzilla that showed up at uh, Comic-Con this year, where it's the poster version. Oh, look, he's trash in the city because he's huge in this photo. Anyway, just give me a second. I'll get him outside of the package, and we'll take a closer look. All right, here we have our Godzilla out of the package. And uh, lately I've been becoming quite the fan of NECA with what they've been putting out. So let's hope this keeps up that trend. Here's his blast effect. As you can see, it's molded in like a blue transparent plastic and then painted with a light blue to white paint on top. And then we have the tip of his tail, which you have to attach yourself. And our Godzilla. All his tail here, there's a little ball joint. You can see, and it should. I remember the last Godzilla was a pain in the butt to get this tail on. Let's see how this goes. There, well, that was not too bad at all. And I do have a minor little gripe there. I don't know if you can see it very well in this one, but the paint is coming off. This one scale, pretty bad. Um, it's awfully sticky. He's sticky and tacky, like they painted him and then threw him in the package. Other than that, the paint is pretty nice. It's got a dark blue with a light blue on top and then white. He's definitely very hunched over. Like I wish I could straighten him out a little bit, but he doesn't go any taller. Probably to keep his blast effect. They did a very nice job on his face though and his eyes. And the uh, extra little paint wash definitely shows off a lot of the detailing. Here's a good look at his mouth. You can see his little blue tongue. So really good job on... Oh, I just dropped him to the floor. On his face! And his hands are pretty cool. Um, just a whole lot of sculpting going on in this guy, texture-wise. I love how fat and costume-like his legs are. And his feet are really nice. And got some good detail on his claws. See his knees. And the paint on his chest. You know, on his hands. So they could, did a pretty good job of that. And um, he's got, as you see when I put his tail on, he's got a little swivel here. And he's got uh, articulation point here. Feels like it's just a ball joint. And one here as well, so you can get some swivel. And at the base, well, this, it swivels as well. And he's got swivels at his hips. That's it. And then swivel at the knee, and a little bit of a swivel at the ankle. His shoulders also just go up and down. He's got like a swivel cut at his elbow. This has very limited movement. Really nice at the wrist. And he's got finger articulation. Or hand, I guess. Hand articulation. Just kind of weird with how limited the most of the other parts are. And he does have a bit of a waist movement, which is really tight, but that's nice. So you can get him looking around. And then he's got uh, a really tight, <coughs> excuse me, neck joint. And then also at the top or base of his head, he's just some swiveling. And then his jaw is articulated, so you can open and close. And then you just take your blast effect, which is shaped 
to fit in this way into his mouth. And shove that up in there. And it doesn't really stay by itself. It doesn't seem to click in, so I guess he just kind of set it on the ground like that. And it looks like he's doing his blast attack. Pretty cool. It'd be nice if it pegged in a little bit better. Um, yeah, other than he's a pretty cool Godzilla figure, and for the price point. Of uh, what twenty two dollars I think I paid for him because I picked him up at F Y E. That's pretty good for all the sculpting work on this guy. And there's so much detail in his in his legs alone. Uh, he looks quite like a lizard. So he's pretty fun. He's definitely shedding some color while I'm moving around, but that might just because of how stiff his joints are. So other than that one paint, little bit of a paint flaw there, he's pretty excellent figure from NECA. Um, so hopefully we'll get a bunch more Godzillas pretty soon, and that uh, one they showed at San Diego Comic Con, which really got me excited with the diorama of the uh, poster itself. So if you see him, I'd pick him up. He's a good one to add to your collection if you're into Godzilla stuff. So he's my third Godzilla from NECA I've picked up, um, besides the Shin and the original, and I've been happy with all of them so far. And uh, Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos, and click that bell icon to be notified. And I'm slowly still gaining some subscribers every now and then, but... I noticed every time they change their algorithm, I get less and less views. Like I was going, went from 1,500 to 500 to 300 to maybe 30 now. So I'm pretty much just doing this for my own entertainment now. So I'll see you guys later. All right, bye. I just want to say thank you one more time for checking out this video and if you're interested in seeing any more you can click uh, either one of the links that will be over here and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel there will be a button down below where you can do that as well and again thank you.